Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be selecting which fragrances I'm going to wear for the month of October. Already, can you believe, I say this every time, but can you believe how fast September was? I can't believe I am making an October themed video already, but I am definitely excited for it. I think October is my favorite month of all. So this time around, I am going to be spinning the wheel, which is why I'm sitting here at my desk. So this is going to be a super fun way to randomize which fragrances I'm wearing this October. So this time around, I have created three different wheels to spin from and I'm going to be selecting two winners from each of the wheels. Wheel number one has seven options of apple fragrances. Wheel number two is all things pumpkin with seven different pumpkins. And then the third wheel is kind of my other category. They are all of the fragrances that are autumnal but aren't necessarily pumpkins or apples. Things like caramel, coffee, well you'll see. So by the time I'm done spinning the wheels I will have six total fragrances to wear. So as you can see we are going to start with the apple fragrances. I'm looking at my computer screen here and I'm going to introduce you to all of the contestants first. Contestant number one is Country Apple. This is a classic Bath & Body Works 1990s fragrance from the Heartland era, one of their original scents. Contestant number two, Sweet Apple Cider. I have never worn this fragrance or this brand before. This is Bodycology. They are kind of like an affordable brand version of Bath & Body Works that you can pick up from Walmart. The third Apple contestant is a very special one from all the way back from 2015. This is Suncrisp Apple Harvest. Next contestant is Champagne Apple and Honey. This one does come back every single fall. Next contestant is Coconut Candy Apple. I did use this one a couple of times in September for my carnival fair theme, like a caramel apple scent, but I didn't get around to using it nearly as much as I wanted to. So if I get this one again for this month, that's totally fine by me. Sixth contestant is another special nostalgic scent to me. This is Pumpkin Apple Cider. This one does have a little bit of pumpkin, but to me, it smells a little bit heavier on the apple. That is why it is being a part of my apple spinner. And then the last contestant is Pumpkin Apple, and same thing with this fragrance. This technically has both pumpkin and apple in it, but to me it's a little bit heavier on the apple, so therefore it can be one of the choices for apple. So I'm going to spin this wheel twice to figure out which two apples I'm going to be wearing this October. Let's go. Okay, one, two, three. Ooh, okay. They're all applauding for me. Okay, pumpkin apple. So the first apple winner that I got is this pumpkin apple with the raccoon on it. I'm very excited, I do love this scent. Yes, okay. I'm using a new website, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay, so we removed the pumpkin apple now that that one has won. Let's figure out what my second apple is going to be. And go. Ooh, these ones are kind of similar to each other. That was really scary. I, I am so sorry. Okay, the kids are screaming because we got pumpkin apple cider. If I were a kid, I'd scream that way too if I knew I was getting this one because this one is such a good one. So. It's funny because pumpkin apple cider and pumpkin apple I think are the two most similar of the batch, but I am here for it, that is okay. I think these are good true October late fall scents. I think this is appropriate because I tend to think of the more fresh crisp apples to be September and the more spicy rich apples to be more October and November. So I think this is appropriate, I like my choices. All right, now we've got my pumpkin spinner up and I'm going to introduce you to the contestants. First contestant is spiced pumpkin cider. This is a very similar name to the pumpkin apple cider, but I find that these fragrances are very different. This is definitely heavier on the pumpkin to me than the apple. So that is why this one is on the pumpkin wheel. I've never actually worn this fragrance before. This is actually one that my sister had a duplicate and she brought it over to me. So it would be kind of fun to give this one a try for the first time. This is a top 10 favorite for me. This is pumpkin picking. Third contestant is pumpkin cupcake. I actually really grew to love this one as of last year. So I would be excited to get it again, of course. Fourth contestant is sweet cinnamon pumpkin. This one was a part of my September fragrances, but I only used it maybe once or twice. Once again, I was using a lot of the more summery half of the fragrances I had because it's been such a hot September. So if I get this one again, that's totally fine with me. The next contestant, we have this very sophisticated white pumpkin and chai. Second to last, we have marshmallow pumpkin latte. This is a Melissa scent through and through. This is like my signature fragrance that if I could only pick one, it would be this. And then last but not least, we have pumpkin pecan waffles, perfect for the gourmand lover, which is me. Okay, let's find out what pumpkin number one is going to be. <gasps> Yay! 
Yay, marshmallow pumpkin latte. I'm so glad because um, what's fall without marshmallow pumpkin latte, at least for me, so adding that to the pile. All right, pumpkin number two, who's it gonna be? Okay, spiced pumpkin cider. I've never tried that one before, so I am excited. We've got one I use every single year, and then one I have never used before. So I love that variety for me, so perfect. First contestant for the other category of my fall scents. This is blueberry maple pancakes. I also have never worn this one before. So I actually had almost decluttered this one a while back and kept it kind of in my gift pile in case if I wanted to pull it back out, and I definitely did because I love Santa's blueberry shortbread. That one's my favorite, and so I figured, oh, of the two, I'll keep this one, but um, now that some time has gone by, I'm thankful I kept it because I really want to try it. So blueberry maple pancakes, we'll see if it wins. Second contestant, this is leaves from this year. So normally this could have been classified as an apple category, but I find on my skin, it's very, very heavy of clove and cinnamon. So this is mainly a spicy fragrance for me. Third contestant, I have sugared cranberry cider. That'd be funny if I got this one because I have a lot of cider scents so far. So maybe this theme will end up being cider if that one wins. Now I know this one is coveted by the people who are nostalgic of fall's past. So this is salted caramel apricot. Going a little bit different, I have an aromatherapy fragrance. This is cozy and it smells like cinnamon and sandalwood. I have this cute little travel size from a while back. This is golden pear and brown sugar. And then very last, we have white coconut caramel. If this one wins, I plan on using my coffee body care scents with it. All right, let's see who's going to win the other category first. Go. Oh, interesting. Thank you, thank you. So we've got cinnamon sandalwood aromatherapy. I think that's nice. I think it's quite different than the other scents I have. So it will be a nice for variety. Who's gonna win the second one? Let's find out. Oh man, okay. They're screaming again. So this is the salted caramel apricot. Look at this, we've got twins. So I've got the salted caramel apricot and then the spiced pumpkin cider was one of my pumpkin winners. So we're kind of going with the theme a little bit. So those were my six fragrances. I am going to go find some other body care pieces to pair with those fine fragrance mists. And then we are gonna take it to the bathroom and I'll show you fragrance combos that I'm gonna be using with them. So let's go to the next step. Okay, now that we have figured out all of the fragrances that I'm gonna be using for October, I've gone through my body care collection and I've paired up some body scrubs and shower gels and all of the whole nine yards to be able to go with the fine fragrance mist. So I'm gonna show you the fragrance combos and add them to my rolling cart here, which is in the bathroom, which is where we are now. So here are my two pumpkin apple goodies that I spun from my apple wheel. And I have the fine fragrance mist as you saw earlier. And then I found the body cream of it in my collection. This has notes of mold apple cider, autumn gold pumpkin, buttered rum, warm praline and hint of spice. So as you can see, it's a very nice blend for like a more cozy warm apple as opposed to a fresh crisp apple, perfect for the later October months and definitely into November as well. This was from a collection they had back in 2016 and I just loved the packaging that they did. It was fun, it was a little bit cartoony, but super colorful and lots of imagery of leaves as you can see on there. And the theme of the collection that this came from was all things pumpkin, so definitely up my alley. So on these products to give you an idea of the brand image that they were going going for this whole collection. They had little sayings on the back of each bottle from this fragrance and it was all the same for the collection. So I'll read it to you now. Nothing says autumn like pumpkins. Straight from the pumpkin patch, our new collection of irresistible scents celebrates our favorite fall ingredient. I think that's just so cute. So like I said, mist and body cream going in. If you watched September's fragrances I'm wearing from last month, you will have already seen this one. This is from their 2018 efficacious body care collection that they had that was all fall inspired. And this one says, pick apple, made from raw golden apples. Apple extract is vitamin rich and skin nourishing. This body wash gently cleanses, leaving your skin looking soft and smooth. And since I didn't have a body wash of the pumpkin apple cider that I wanted to use, I will pair this body wash with it. The scrub that I will use is this brand new one I got this fall from Tree Hut, and this is Apple Macchiato. As you can see there, ooh, kind of shiny. 
The reason I chose this body scrub is not only is it gonna pair really well with the pumpkin apple cider, but also with my pumpkin apple goodies, which was the other one that I spun on my apple wheel. So these two goodies going into the shower. And then here was one of my winners from the other category for my spinner. And this is the salted caramel apricot. And this one, like I said, this is coveted nostalgia goodness. With the amount of people I hear wanting this one back, I'm surprised they haven't made a return of this fragrance yet. So still patiently waiting on that. But this one is from 2017 and this collection was all about honey that they made. So I'll read the back to you there. It says, honey is all the buzz. It's our favorite fall ingredient. Hmm. The other one said pumpkin was their favorite fall ingredient. Known for its soothing qualities, we love honey in everything from our tea to what we put on our skin. And then salted caramel apricot has notes of buttery caramel, sea salt, apricot brandy, maple wood, and vanilla bean. Oh, it's perfect. I still hold firm that they do not make enough caramel scented body care. So I'm clinging to this one, but very excited to use it. I also don't have a body wash to go with the salted caramel apricot, but I think this one blends really perfectly with it. This is the cinnamon donut swirl, and this has like a nice yeasty, rich, caramely dough scent to it, so I think it's gonna go really well with it. It has notes of sweet cinnamon, brown sugar, and fluffy dough. And then here we have my all-time favorite marshmallow pumpkin latte. So we've got that in the body lotion in the fine fragrance mist right here. And this, I'm not gonna lie, not my favorite packaging. I still like the color of it. It's nice, rich brown, so that's good. They definitely have had more artistic and cutesy looking ones than this. This is a little more simple or straightforward, but that's okay. It still smells just as good as I remember as always. And this has pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallow, creamy sandalwood, and praline musk. I definitely like the shower gels packaging more than the lotion from 2019. I like that it's got the white pumpkin and you can see kind of some blurry fall leaves in the background. So that's kind of nice. Also the little saying on the back of this one says, stir the fireplace embers one more time and wrap yourself in the coziest blanket. Now cup your hands around a frothy latte that says autumn is here. I think that's cute. And since it's October, I thought it was the perfect time to bust out my Halloween scrub. So this is the one that I mainly plan on using with marshmallow pumpkin latte. So this one is by Onyx Bathhouse and it says trick or treat yourself. I don't know. And the scent is candied pumpkin with pumpkin oil in it. And this smells super good. So on the side, it says pumpkin spice, but on the front, it says candied pumpkin. I'm definitely leaning that it's more of a candied pumpkin than it is a pumpkin spice scent because pumpkin spice by Onyx Bathhouse tends to have a lot of cinnamon in it, which I also like. But this is more of a buttery, caramely, sugary pumpkin. It's got the two-tone colors where it's got the light color on the top and then a little bit darker on the bottom, so. Love the packaging and the branding for the Onyx Bathhouse scrubs. And then here is my other winner for the pumpkin wheel that I got, and this is the Spiced Pumpkin Cider. Also from 2017, it's from that same collection that the Salted Caramel Apricot came from. And so this was when they were all about the honey. As you saw before, I have it in the Fine Fragrance Mist, but then I also have it in the Sugar Scrub that I still have unopened. My sister had an opened one, and she said it was kind of going stale because of the honey ingredient in it. So I actually really was hoping to get this used up sooner than later just because I want to use it while it's still a little more on the fresh side than the stale side. Spice Pumpkin Cider has notes of heirloom pumpkin, royal cinnamon, and apple cider. And this one is really interesting because it is sweet, but I find that the heirloom part of the heirloom pumpkin is quite accurate. It's definitely more of a warm, cozy, harvesty scent. I would have thought that these two smell almost identical because they sound really similar, but this one is definitely a pumpkin scent while this one is more of an apple scent to me. So. I think that they are actually extremely different, especially on my skin. And then there's a closer look at that body scrub. It looks like a little jar of honey, kind of. So the only forms that I had in the Spiced Pumpkin Cider were the Fine Fragrance Mist and the Body Scrub. So I had to get a little bit creative on a moisturizer and a body wash, but I'm making it work. For body wash, I'm going to actually use this Vanilla Birthday Cake body wash, and this is just a nice, simple vanilla scent. I feel like I surprisingly don't have straight up plain pumpkin body washes like I do that apple body wash that I just pair that with all of my apple scents that don't have anything. I don't really have that for my pumpkin scents, but I think that this vanilla is going to do the trick because it's just a good base layer to pair my other scents with. And this right here to me is like a little pot of gold. I love this product so much. This is the Renewing Pumpkin Enzyme Body Butter and it's actually more of like an aloe gel consistency. It's hard to describe the smell, but it smells like cloves and pumpkin butter and just everything I love about fall. It's super rich and caramely. It also has kind of like a woodsy smell to it, which gives it kind of like a spiced outdoorsiness as well, but it's very rich, very pumpkin-y. I just love it so much. And I actually do have backups of this. As you can see, I've made a really good dent in this one already, but I'm gonna pair that with the Spiced Pumpkin Cider. 
So here is my aromatherapy that I'm gonna be using this month. This is the Cinnamon Sandalwood Cozy. So I have that in the pillow mist, which I'm gonna to use to spray my clothes and I can use it on my body as well. And then I also have it in the shower gel. So here's a closer look at that shower gel. And on the back it says, press pause and cozy up with the aromas of soothing cinnamon and calming sandalwood. I think that's perfect for like an evening fall shower. So with the cinnamon and sandalwood body care, I'm actually going to take it more the spiced chai route because I have a lotion and a body scrub that fits that description perfectly. And of course, taking advantage of as much Halloween packaging as I can, I have this brand new one that I actually just got not too long ago. Bionix Bathhouse, this body scrub called Too Cute for Boo, and it smells like spooky spiced chai. This one's fragrance, at least smelling it without warming it up or anything, doesn't smell too strong, but look at how fun that color is. It's like a glow in the dark style green, and then like this fluorescent pale lavender kind of color, and I think that is so fun. Perfect for a little ghosty shower routine. Another new product to me, but also a new brand to me as well. This is the Quiet and Roar. This is an older packaging, and I actually found it at an outlet store and this was a limited edition fall scent vanilla chai latte so I think that's gonna be perfect to tie together the chai scent this is the body lotion I will pair with the aromatherapy cinnamon sandalwood mmm it does smell really good it has like a little bit of an almond shortbread cookie scent to it it almost has a little bit of an apple -y scent to it as well but it really does have those chai spices in there and it does smell like a cup of vanilla chai so for the pumpkin apple, which was my other apple that I spun for, I'm actually gonna keep it simple and just keep it to the two, the Fine Fragrance Mist Travel Size and a little hand cream because I do actually like to have a scent that I can rely on that doesn't have all of the shower routine stuff in it because on gym mornings, I usually just spray and lotion go and then I come home and shower afterwards. So when I first wake up and get ready to go to the gym, I can just moisturize and lotion in just this and not worry about the whole shower routine until later. So this is gonna be my little gym set. So really quickly, I actually have only carryovers from September for my hair care, and I'll just show you little pictures here. This is the OGX Coconut Caffeine Shampoo and Conditioner. I love this shampoo, live by it. This set I will use with any of my pumpkin routines because it is the perfect caramely coffee scent. And then the other shampoo and conditioner set that I have is by Native, and this one is the Warm Cinnamon and Cider. I find that this one is the perfect rainy, cold autumn day scent. It's very warm, very toasted, but but it still has that apple cinnamon scent that you know and love. So I'm going to be using that with all of my spiced cider scents. I am going to be including this body oil. This is my favorite one, actually. This is just the Equate brand. I think this is normally a Vaseline product. At Walmart, they have just kind of this cheaper version. And this is the Moisture Care Cocoa Divine Body Oil Gel. And I like it because it comes out in the gel, so it's not as runny and loose textured as a standard oil. And the smell on this one is so good. It's like vanilla buttercream. So I think this is perfect for any fall scent. I'm also going to only use two deodorants this time. This one is by Dove, and this is a carryover. This is the apple and white tea scent. And of course, this is going to be what I pair with any of my apple scents. Also, Dove is usually the brand I use if I want a little more of an intense coverage. And then my other deodorant is by Native, and this is Oat Milk Latte. I haven't used this one yet, so I'm excited to try it with all of my pumpkin and coffee and latte scents. Typically, the Native brand I tend to use more in the evenings just as a lighter coverage, or if I know I'm not gonna be doing that much physical activity, I'll use the Native brand, but Dove is definitely more for gym days. Smelling this one cold, it's a little bit on the softer side in terms of fragrance, but I find that it will probably get a little bit stronger once it warms up under my skin. So before we put the shower gel and body scrubs into the shower, I'm gonna show you one more thing, and that is lip care. Into my rolling cart, I'm going to include this Bath & Body Works Sugar Lip Scrub that is pumpkin cupcake. And then I have a gloss, a lip balm, and then something in between. Tis the season I had to bust out my Halloween one. This is a clear lip gloss by Bath & Body Works that tastes and smells like candy corn. I love this so much, I got this last year. And then a tried and true, this is by Lip Smackers. This is Spice Latte, and I actually got this in a Christmas gift set of a pack of a whole bunch of them. So I'm gonna be using that, of course, with all of my latte pumpkin-y routines. And then last but not least, look at what I found at Hot Topic while I was traveling. This is so ridiculous. This is actually like a tinted lip balm, and it comes in like a little case like this. As you can see, I've used it like maybe twice. And this is in the flavor slash scent Harvest Apple. And since I'm Team Edward and I love Twilight during the fall, I thought this was a perfect time to use this. All right, the cart is all updated. Now we can do the shower caddy and then we're done.
All right, we are all finished. Make sure you let me know down in the comments below which fragrance or fragrances are you going to use this October. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you in my next video. Until next time, bye.